<laughs> Welcome back, guys. And we have um, we have some breaking news regarding SeaWorld. Um, as you recall, I did a video of Six Flags potentially um, going bankrupt in 2024 if they continue on this trajectory. If they don't recover from the coronavirus plus their bad losses, and I'll link that video up above in the top right in the suggestion videos. But now we're going to talk about SeaWorld here. And as you see, SeaWorld has a stock price that went down $1.54 today. It's at 1365 Now, the reason I'm making um, SeaWorld its own video instead of combining it with the other parks videos, which I'll do a video tomorrow about the other parks sending their closures, is that SeaWorld um, is the only park so far to not pay its workers and not pay just and it's not just a few workers it's a lot of workers 90 percent of the workers they have 22,100 people um, working there as of 2013 uh, even just going by those numbers that's 19,890 people that will be not working uh, and not, not getting paid for their work um, starting April 1st. That's only four days away, um, which is insane. I mean, what, and, um, if you're working for SeaWorld, if you work for SeaWorld, um, man, I must, you must be in a state of shock right now. That is absolutely, absolutely like crazy. And here you know, is an, an article I found about it on or click Orlando. Um, yeah. Workers will go without pay starting on April 1st. And that's literally insane. Now, what my thing is, look at the SeaWorld stock price over the past five years. Yeah. Always hanging around 19, 19, 19. It got up during the to 36. Now, again, we're back here at 13, or we got to nine. Now it's at 13. Like six flags. <laughs> will SeaWorld? go bankrupt i mean they had a time after the blackfish doc documentary that um it was rumored that six times was going to buy sea world parks um in 2017 which is right around here when or oh, 2016 when the stock price kind of got low again but that obviously didn't happen and both sea world and six flags i feel like could really really struggle um coming out of this coronavirus situation because SeaWorld um, also had a de uh, attendance decline in 2019 after having record attendance in 2018. So things are, the ship isn't just like um, Six Flags. The ship has not been righted, as they would say. There's the both chains were experiencing problems before this coronavirus and now, um, they're experiencing problems. Well, they're going to experience severe problems after the coronavirus. And I worry that both of them, um, potentially even more so SeaWorld and Six Flags, could get um, bought out or could be um, bankrupt by the, in the next couple of years, especially because SeaWorld doesn't have Six Flags, there's about 23 parks total. And Six Flags, or at least in North America, are theme parks. But Six or SeaWorld doesn't have as many parks as Six Flags to sell off. So selling them off may not even help as much. But if they were to sell off some parks, I feel like it would be the Bush Gardens parks. Um, because I feel like SeaWorld definitely want to keep their core three of SeaWorld San Diego, Orlando, and San Antonio. And they definitely want to sell off some Bush Gardens parks if they had to sell sell off some parks. But I hope we'll be watching this situation and their stock price very, very carefully over the next um, few weeks. And obviously, when we come out of the situation in the next few years, SeaWorld also, like Disney just announced, will be closing its parks indefinitely. And again, that means. There's workers starting in four days will be getting no pay indefinitely as well. So what do you guys think about this situation? Do you think SeaWorld is in worse shape than Six Flags or about the same shape or even better shape than Six Flags? 
which one out of the two do you think will has the potential more likely to go bankrupt first or be in the worst shape? Let me know your thoughts below. If you're a SeaWorld San Diego um, member or team member, um, comment below on how this affects you or have how these these uh, these furloughs affect you. Because that's a uh, that's that's really uh, that's terrible. Um, I feel very bad for you guys. No, and I hope the parks in this whole pandemic ends quickly, especially so people like you can go and other people who are out of work can go to um go back to work and get starting some money to pay bills and live the daily normal life again. But other than that, comment your thoughts on this whole situation with the parks closing and extending their closures and the furloughs and subscribe for more theme park updates. So again, tomorrow's video will be about Disney and Universal um, extending their closures. Um, Disney was in closing definitely six packs close, or sorry, Universal's close to April 19th. Disney and Universal will be paying employees all the way until April, Disney April till April 18th, Universal to April 19th. And we'll have a whole story and video on that um, tomorrow, so subscribe for that. As well as plenty of other theme park news, speculation videos, rumors, and even gaming videos. As always, have a fantastic or as good as the, as great as the day as you can have stuck in quarantine.